Hey, it's James Rozowski from Built Prefab here in Kelowna, British Columbia. I'm here to do a virtual tour of one of our new models for 2020, the Holiday. So the Holiday is uh, 1,372 square feet this year. And uh, just about us for a second, I'm on our website at www.builtprefab.com. We build premium prefab modular homes. And uh, just so you know, we're a full service design, manufacture and install business. And we focus on premium single family and multifamily buildings. And we try to design and build homes that are high quality, sustainable, healthy and durable. So I won't show you too much on this website because we're going full 3D. But I do highly recommend that if you've been on our website that you get a hold of the buyer's guide which will take you right through our design process, which we're also going to talk about today on this video. And then as well as the design catalog, which has all of these units uh, in, in them. So floor plans, renderings, just scrolling through them. But uh, enough about that. We're going to move on to the next thing, which is the actual 3D model. And that model uh, is just shown here. So we're going to start at uh, what we call Built World 2020. And what this is, is all of our homes for 2020 in a, in a single area. It allows us to show you all of the houses uh, in the context of, you know, landscape and other houses. And it gives you a much better feel for, for what you're looking at. Additionally, uh, when we're on the interior of the homes, you'll see in these tours, you can actually see out the windows and uh, get a better perspective of what you might be seeing when you uh, buy one of these homes and build them. So, yeah, I'm just going to flip around to the other side and then we're going to head right on over to the uh, the holiday. So I'm going to zoom into the unit. One of the things you're going to notice for 2020 is that it, it is substantially different than in 2019. And uh, it was for a few reasons, but um, mainly you're going to see when we get inside, we put the mechanical a bigger entry closet and everything in there. So instead of having two huge doors, we went with just a, a one uh, big, big uh, sliding door across the front. And that's a 14 footer, as you can see there. So that's uh, that thing folds all the way in. It's a lift and roll door. And then um, you can see we've got another window and then obviously a huge window in the living room, which is eight feet or maybe possibly, oh, it's a 10 footer. Okay, so you got a lot of glass across the front, but still uh, still manageable. And we did a nice uh, detail here of carrying the, the roof line right through to the end to give you this covered uh, entry. So let's do a little bit of a walk around on the outside so you get a feel for what the building looks like. Um, yeah, and and what we're going to do is take you through a bunch of the options that are going to be available and some of the reasons for the design. The next thing we'll do right away, though, is just move over to the floor plan so that we can get a better perspective of what we're going to be looking at. And anytime we're doing a design uh, with you, we're going to do it in 3D, just like we're showing. But the process starts like this. You choose your floor plan and then we start to modify it to suit your needs. So this is the 2020 holiday shown just like we were looking at. We've got an entryway with a closet, laundry room, there's gonna be mechanical in there. And then, um, you know, we've got our kitchen, dining, living room, there's a fireplace, and then all the bedrooms are in the back. So there are a couple things we can actually do to modify this unit uh, depending on your requirements. And one would be to carry this wall through and then have a corner kitchen right when you walk in. Um, you know, and that way we would put your entry to this area back over here. We might even have to flip some of the rooms around, but uh, that would give you a few different possibilities and eliminate some of this hall space. As this is a uh, two 14 wide modules is what it's showing as. Uh, the other thing is, is that it's possible for us to modify this unit so that it's 16 feet wide modules. And that definitely would give you more floor space in all of the areas. So we just thought we'd show it sort of in a compact version first, but you get the picture. Uh, three beds, two baths, um, obviously laundry and mechanicals right in there. So let's do another look, which is called a cutaway. And this will give you a lot better perspective on, on the unit. So walk in here, closet, uh, laundry, mechanical, we move into kitchen. And we're going to look at all of this. If you've watched any of our other videos, we're taking you through the, the whole schmear, as they say. And there's your living room with that big window. And we're going to get some perspective when we walk through it. 
course, um, yeah, we're looking at that hallway accessing those bedrooms. And obviously these two bedrooms on the end are full width on the 14 feet. So they're actually about almost 13 feet wide. And this one obviously would be a little bit uh, narrower, but it's the smaller bedroom. You could have that as a, obviously as a bedroom or an office. And then you'll notice that because we're dealing with um, 14 wide modules that uh, we're only we're only able to have the uh, single vanity. And we'll, we'll show you more about the vanity and, you know, the, Right here, I guess we're showing a tub and a shower, and that's quite interchangeable. So let's just um, move on back to the unit, and we'll go inside. And then from there, um, we're going to do a review of all the various options. So like I said, if we do a design with you, we're going to do it in 3D like I'm showing you now. And that way, you know, you can get a real understanding of, of the kind of building you are going to live in. So... Yeah, we got a nice covered entry and we'd be coming inside to the unit right here. And of course, on the right, you've got your, your big closet. And on the left, that's the entry into the, uh, the laundry. Now, we're not opening or closing doors in this software. We're just basically cutting through them. Uh, and so this blue stuff you see on the side is a bit of clipping. But yeah, here's your laundry mechanical. It's just a 48 inch wide or sorry, laundry unit and you're, you're shelving and it's 48 inches wide, but this closet here would house the mechanical in your unit. And so, yeah, come in. And then the next thing we see is obviously this hallway to the left, then the whole living area all in, in one sort of space. And, and the beauty is the living area, you know, really focuses on whatever the view is out the front. So we're going to come back into this area after we kind of tour through the house. So just imagine we cut a right. Uh, this the second door, I guess, is is that bathroom with the shower. The uh, the door after that, of course, is is your uh, your bedroom, and then the final door here at the end is going to be that other bedroom. So just so you know as well, like in a unit like this, when we're dealing with fourteen wide, the doors are well thirty two, still still pretty decent, uh, or sorry, thirty inch doors, and. Um, yeah, still pretty decent in, in width, but obviously uh, if it was a 16 wide, we could move up to 32 or even 36 inch doors, depending on what your um, your requirements are. So if we look over here, um, yeah, so had we, had we cut a left when we walked in, of course, that gets you into the master bedroom, got your closet there, and then it's got the ensuite. Uh, you know, we're showing a tub in there. You'd probably flip that around, tub in the other one, uh, shower in this one, but as you'll see further on, it's quite easy for us to, to make those uh, changes for you in your design. Yeah, and we're so, showing sort of like a smaller one wall kitchen. So, so, you know, like this configuration, I think, would be more of a, a rural setting, possibly like a second home cabin or whatever, but um, still got a full bank of millwork. Uh, this is just a 30 inch fridge, but we have other options that I'm going to show you. Got a range and a uh, microwave with a fan in it. It's the Frigidaire Professional line. And then our uh, our island with with a 24 inch dishwasher. So just flipping around, what I'm going to show you is, you know, what kind of view you might have if you were in the kitchen. And uh, of course, the the zoom is a little weird. I'm going to add some perspective, but that that's those big doors leading the outside. You know, you have your barbecue out there, and um, you obviously are in total command of this house. As the you know the entry is right there, and then um, you can. You can see, you know, the rest of the living room. And then, of course, everybody in the back who's sleeping is sort of separated or whatever. Um, it's a fairly large dining room. Of course, we're showing six-seater with our uh, tube lights, and we'll talk more about that. We put a nice window right, right, at the, uh, right at the dining room. And then right in your living room here, we've got the big 10-foot window and a gas fireplace. And so, you know, that's the unit. I think before we go on too far, I'm going to flip over to another model where I can show you an alternative fireplace uh, that we offer, which is a wood burning stove. And you'll find this in the model guide for the unit here. So boom, fire on. <laughs> there it is. So yeah, it's your option. No fireplace, gas fireplace, or we go with the wood burning stove that we throw on a piece of quartz and it's, it's beautiful. So uh, really all dependent on your requirements and then, of course, your use. 
So yeah, when you're when you're going through the process with us, uh, just like we detail in that buyer's guide, which was just uh, just behind the screen here, I believe, and I'm going to move it up uh, over there. If you if you're going through the buyer's guide, it, it lays out this process that we would follow when we're working on your design. So f step one is to choose your floor plan. Obviously, you've got to figure out a, a house that appeals to you. Um, and then from there, we start working on some of the details. And of course, like even with this floor plan, uh, just like I said earlier, it could be modified to suit you a little bit better. So the next thing we do after we're done with our uh, choosing a floor plan and sort of figuring a, a bit about it generally is that we'd, we'd look at energy performance. And so here's some details. And the reason why we were gonna do this early is because it can affect the floor layout of the house, uh, depending on the energy performance you desire. Um, you know, it can, it can add a little bit of thickness to the wall and uh, that space comes right out of your floor plan. So we just need to know early because that allows us to detail kitchens, baths and everything a little bit differently than had you just selected the, uh, well, one or the other. So let's start here. This is, I just can't get the zoom. One more time. Let's start at the first one, which is our standard wall detail. And essentially, this is about eight inches thick, which is shown in all the in all the models. I'm not going to measure because it it's eight, roughly, and not exactly. But we've got drywall, air barrier, um, two by six framing, and plywood wall sheathing with our Roxol R28 in the walls. You've got your building wrap, and then your rain screen, and then of course your siding. And you know the siding obviously is dependent on the design, but we're just showing the wood siding here. So that detail is what's sort of shown in all the units as standard, and it would be um, generally exceed any building code requirement that you're going to have. But uh, in the event that you even want to go to the next step, you know we're going to go to something like this, which is uh, drywall, air barrier, two by six framing, plywood wall sheathing. We've got our um, rocks all there and then of course two inches of rigid foam and that two inches uh, is going to, to push this whole assembly over the R40 so we can put some of that in the in the roof as well and now you're talking uh, you know a fairly uh, decent performance but building envelope and you know both of these uh, we're going to be focused on air tightness and and making sure the mechanical is suited to the building um, but of course, when you start to get into the more high performance realm, we're going to be trying to figure out what you're trying to achieve and then, um, you know, ensuring that the other components like windows and doors and everything meet, meet that sort of objective. So yeah, that's, that's the, the crux of how the first part of our design works. So you've gone floor plan. Now you're talking energy performance. We're sort of detailing that. You know, our next step is to really start looking at the major components for the home. And I mean, there are quite a few options, I, I would say, for a home of this size as far as kitchens go. And that's the next step. So I'll show you, for instance, I believe the kitchen that we're showing in the unit is here. Yeah, that's the one. So it has a full height cabinet, you know, the 30 inch appliances, uh, decent little island and, and this small fridge. But, you know, real easy as a standard, we've got this other option where we go up to 36 inch fridge, cooktop, 30 inch uh, sink. And then, of course, uh, a wall oven with a drop down microwave door. And so these kitchens are basically... Uh, we created them for perspective so you understand what it would look like uh, also for you know pricing and discussion purposes but when we do your design we're going to modify this kitchen to suit your needs and ensure that we're showing the exact appliances and uh, finishes and fixtures that you select so you really get a get a per picture of your new kitchen way way before it arrives and of course because we're manufacturing um, you know, when you hit go, it's it's a little bit unlike site construction in that there aren't a lot of changes that are going to be made after we say, uh, you know, build. It's it's um, 
it's a fairly uh, prescriptive process after that. But that's why we rely heavily on 3D design. So, I mean, backing up on the kitchens, you could even do something like this if you wanted and we could modify it where it's just like full on one wall, no island. It really is dependent on how many people are going to be using this place, your budget, um, you know, the uses. And like I said previously, there, there could be a way to modify the building in the holiday to have a corner kitchen. And so like, uh, you know, this would fit corner kitchen with no island um, or even possibly something like this, but slightly modified where we're doing 36 inch fridge, basically that that other scenario. It, it You have to really identify what's your priority. If you love to cook and you're going to be there all the time, well, you know, you're going to want to make space for this great kitchen. And if it's if it's like a, a secondary type thing, you use it like a, I don't know, once in a while, well, then perhaps uh, just something smaller is, is what you're going to be um, trying to do but regardless we're going to help you through that whole process and we're going to identify some some uh, priorities for you and and then design them so we've got floor plan energy performance now we've done the kitchen and then of course the next thing is to move on to the bathrooms and obviously i could just show you um, the standard baths that were shown in in this unit so we've got a tub uh, with a chroma dual flush toilet and then of course the aqua brass uh, sink and faucet and and the uh, accessories as well as um, the cuzco light and i mean um this is option one you know tub with full surround or we get into something like this which is just a full shower uh, we're showing you know that uh, linear drain and and the whole thing it's a uh, very nice and when we do your bathroom you know we fit the millwork to you we could put in a closet or something if you need it and then of course we might um oh we would detail your tile and and finishes so that you know when you're looking at this bathroom it is the bathroom we are going to build for you um almost identically so one other thing i guess i could show you or two other things are if it was a high priority or priority to you, we could find some space for a half bath, which would be sort of this configuration. Or, um, you know, maybe maybe you want this unit and you don't want three bedrooms. Another option might be to do something like this, which is uh, throw in a, a big master. And and I'm sure we can figure this out. It's just you're going to lose probably a bedroom off uh, off the house for, for something like this. But again, it's all about your priority and your budget and we've got a lot of standard uh, details that uh, we can offer so yeah from uh from this point um we're going to move on to closets and millwork and so i'll just show you here this is our standard closet detail essentially eight foot tall doors that match the rest of the house uh, and these these closets can you know for the bedrooms at least are anywhere from five feet all the way to 12 feet wide or you know the full length of the room and we are showing them all with a, a shelf and a rod. So really your choice um, if you want to go with something like this or, you know, our other option is the second thing is all uh, built in millwork. So, you know, we're showing that five foot built in, uh, which is, you know, definitely makes a statement in your home. And we would uh, design it to match the rest of the millwork. And of course, when your home comes, you know, you're going to have all this in there already. Um, and of you know, kitchen appliances, all the lighting, all the drywall flooring will be in. And this here um, would also be in your rooms. And I mean, we could do built-in millwork in the bedrooms if you want uh, in the entry and so forth for this house. So, so far, if we sort of regroup, we've been through the floor plan, energy performance, kitchens, bath, closets and millwork. Um, you know, we moved to laundry. Since this is a tight floor plan, like we're really showing just this small laundry unit here, which is only 48 inches wide, but you know, we have a couple other options where, you know, we get a bigger sink. I think this one's more around the uh, 54 inch wide. And then we're showing a, a small sink with two, two cabinets, which is more around 60 inches. And then of course we're getting into the bigger ones. Obviously um, something in one of these three ranges is going to be the, the configurations uh, generally that you would want to have in a home like this. But, uh, you know, we work through it. And um, again, it's your budget. Like right here, I'm showing 
no quartz behind this, but a quartz counter. And then this one's got the quartz backsplash. It costs a couple extra bucks, but it's your call. I think once you get into these bigger ones, you're going to want to have that for sure. But it really is use dependent and, and also budget dependent. So we, we would work through that. So after we're done that laundry, we're going to move on to the windows and doors. And I think the best way to, to deal with that is to go back to the, the design and just take a look at where, you know, you might want to be thinking about other windows and doors and, and just about what we could do. So like as an example, uh, this is obviously contemplating that you're able to walk right out of the house uh, into this deck area. But if there's some reason, uh, like a slope or whatever, or you're on a cliff that you cannot do that or you're not going to have a deck in front of here you know we can revise this area to be windows or we could have a, a door here you know it's it's not that hard but what we really be doing in the design is um, choosing from a selection of windows that we've we've got like you know as you can see they're all uh, sort of in a vein that matches the aesthetic of the building and we have a variety of sizes and then we're trying to capture your your views and um, you know making sure that you can see what you need to see like maybe windows here don't know but if obviously you had a neighbor right there it's not going to be the the ticket so we had to work through that in your design as well and then um, from windows and doors we would move on to lighting and i guess uh you know we do have a, a standard lighting plan for for each of the units that can be modified and so i mean you start with the general lighting which is our dell ceiling uh, recess lights they're six inch lights leds and we can throw dim dimmers on some of them if you like and then um from there you know talk about the kitchen and island we're always showing this uh cuzco um shoot linear pendant and then the Cuzco, I think this is the archibald tube pendant and then we also have a flare pendant available of course um you know, every unit's detailed with two axis ceiling fans that are shown here, and they hook right up to your Nest thermostat that's in the house. Um, and then, you know, beyond that, uh, we've got some bathroom lighting. I guess I could show you quickly. We'll just pierce through a wall to get into a bathroom, but there you go. You got your Cusco Vega uh, seat or uh, over the over the vanity light, and then up here that's Cusco Bedford uh, ceiling light. So we we work through that in the design make sure that it suits you you've got enough light for you know where it's going if you're if you're somewhere it's you need a lot of light well then we we would just work through that and then of course on the uh on the exterior i can show you this light as well which is it's called the uh, cusco um nordic exterior light and it comes in gray or black we show it in black all over the place but uh you know we we would work through that as well so we we have these uh sort of components designed already and and it's quite easy for us to manipulate them as long as we stay within certain parameters that allow us to complete the design in the right way so um the next step after we do lighting is to really detail your exterior and your your facades we've run through floor plan energy performance kitchens and baths closets and millwork laundry windows and doors lighting and now you know we get onto the exterior and what we're looking at here is basically what we would call our our first option which is the flat roof design and so i mean it looks flat if it is not flat there's slope on the roof that slopes back to this um this area where the roof drains and it's just that there's a parapet so it makes it look flat from the road there you go uh, sloping backwards and then we've done this clt facade that's hanging there to give it uh, some coverage over the window or that door and then of course we've done this area so this is sort of option one um and and even to some degree this is option two right here we've we've sort of extruded part of the roof right right away to to make some coverage and that can happen you know as long as there's width for shipping but what we're not not looking to do is is to add that on, on site because it can be a lot of work and then slow down your whole job so i'll just show you an example of what i'm talking about over at the mountain so you know we brought that roof line right off there and uh and that's something we could think about now the third option of course is to do a facade sort of like the spring which is a cross laminated timber cold roof 
and it's a cool roof but uh you know it's it's really budget related and what you're trying to do can provide you a ton of uh of coverage for you know shade and so forth but uh, it does add a an extra element element of uh construction on site um and can definitely add cost to the the project so depending on what you're looking for we would we would work through that and then um once we've detailed your your facade and we'll go back to the holiday then what we do is start looking at you know the finishes and we we have like a very basic uh group of finishes that are all in line with this aesthetic so this one is showing light gray corrugated metal with a six inch tongue and groove fur and um you know the dark gray windows if you get the the model guide for this unit you'll see some of the options but i can take you over to the mountain again because it's got some of the other finishes that you could have on this unit and so uh, yeah dark gray corrugated metal six inch tongue and groove and then up here an architectural panel which would be probably a hardy panel um cement composite so we we could be looking to uh you know paint this to match light gray or dark gray and then the final option that we have on the exteriors is sort of this uh, this vertical uh, wood detail. And that'd be a, a dark gray uh, stained cedar. So I'm just going to zoom to a better angle. Boom. Yeah, dark gray. And we throw it on horse, or sorry, vertically. And it's, it's a neat detail. But um, really, you know, you've got to know what your, your sort of... Uh, what you like and then what's going to be best for your your purposes whether you want uh low maintenance uh, you might want to go with uh, the corrugated metal or if you're looking for you know fire prevention obviously corrugated metal might be better but if you uh, love the look of wood well then we've got that option for you as well and and of course the uh the hardy panel as well would be fireproof or fire resistant nothing's gonna not burn eventually but uh that's uh that's basically it so let's just zoom on back to the holiday and wrap this up but uh just so you know we've got that process in place where you're going to choose your floor plan we're going to modify it for you then we'll go through energy performance kitchens baths closets millwork laundry windows and doors lighting do the exteriors and and that's going to be really part one of your design where you're like okay i get what i'm doing here and and i can do a 3d walk through this house and i'm going to have a, a really good understanding of what i'm gonna going to be building and uh, we do that for uh, like as a stage one so if you go on our website you'll find that as the design stage one if you say look okay we're good we we get the pricing on this we know for our lot what the delivery everything's going to be um, what we would do next is complete the design by doing all the the uh, engineered permit drawings and for manufacturing and um, and then throw it in for permits so once the permits done we can start the build of this unit and you could simultaneously be doing the foundation and the uh, the building itself so a building would be done in the facility and i would say for a unit like this you know you could you could be done something like this in four months from from permit you know subject to there being available uh you know room in the facility and and all things uh going as planned but you know on the outside six months for sure so it's it's a fairly uh, straightforward design but still really cool and um yeah that's uh, that's what i'd be thinking and so from there i would just recommend that if you're looking for more information you come to the website builtprefab.com or you take a minute and um and download the buyer's guide and the design catalog and then of course if you have a specific unit in mind that you really like i would uh, get in touch for the the whole model guide for that unit but uh, like i said we've tried to increase the flexibility of design this year uh, in 2020 and and those were some of the options of course you may have many more questions uh, you can reach us at info at builtprefab.com and uh, you know if you made it this long again thank you it's a 30 minute video so that's a long time but I appreciate you sticking with us. And um, again, I'm James Rosowski from Built Prefab. Have a great day.